A former NFL player Philip Adams killed six people, then turned the gun on himself back in April in his hometown of Rock Hill, South Carolina. This week, autopsy results returned, giving insight to what may have sent him on a homicidal rampage. BNC's Janine Donaldson is live in Charlotte with the results. Good afternoon, Janine. Good afternoon. Philip Adams' autopsy results returned this week and were shared by the York County Coroner's Office and neuropathologists from Boston University's CTE Center. And they show that he suffered a severe form of stage two CTE or chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Now over Adams 20 year football career, he played in the NFL between 2010 and 2015. His family says he suffered several concussions, complained of excruciating pain, had memory issues and difficulty sleeping. They say he was desperately seeking help from the NFL, but was denied all claims due to his inability to handle tasks. Doctors who analyzed his brain say stage two CTE has been found in hundreds of players in their 20s and 30s, but Adam's case was much worse. Philip was 32 when he died. And this is entirely consistent with his level of CTE. Uh, unusually, though, his frontal lobe pathology was much more severe than we usually see in stage two. Uh, and it was bilateral, uh, which we think may have played a role uh, in some of his behavioral difficulties. Dr. Ann McKee says homicidal tendencies are not uncommon in people with CTE, and she doesn't believe that Adams just snapped, rather that he was experiencing progressive impairment, causing rage and aggression and also paranoia, as well as a host of other symptoms. Live in Charlotte, I'm Janine Donaldson for BNC.